Hello, everybody. Welcome to the rest of the play. KOTOR! Last time, we did some bounty collection in, ja in, Javier in Javier's Dot Cantina. Killing a ton of, uh, well, killing one bounty and, uh, and faking the death of another and paying off two other bounties. We also went into the underside of the, uh, this area just, just you know, just to, uh, explore. We also killed a couple, uh, what are they called? Oh, Black Volker. We also killed a couple, uh, what are they called? I'm forgetting their names. Uh, eight Black Volkers. I will fight them right now. Now, don't move too past this fat, that piece of, uh, of, uh, scrap. You will die. Those turrets are, are another one of the instant death mechanics. You will be blasted into a million pieces and you will die. There is no avoiding, there is just death. So, yeah. Don't die. So anyways, I just want to fight those black bull cars there. We'll head over there later. But but first we need to head into the blood the uh well into the uh the hidden Beck space. Preparation and talk to the and talk to the guard outside. Hey! You can't just walk in here! This is the hidden Beck base! How do I know you're not a Volker spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? I need Gadon Thek, uh, Gadon's help, I was told to speak to him. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Vulture Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. So make me at all against those well, enemies. We do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. So you're gonna let me in? Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden backs are watching you. All right, and we got next to the hidden back base. Looks like that open door policy wasn't as that wasn't as strict as I thought as I thought they were. What to say is, hey, can you let me in? Yeah, I can help you. And then it's like, oh, alright. <laughs> alright, deal. But, yeah. Now, one thing I'd say about the Hidden Beck's base, there are areas that you cannot enter into, because they were literally cut content. I mean it like that, they were literally cut content, like the security orb. You cannot head past this, because it was cut out of the series. Literally, it's cut. Though I'm... Though... Yeah. Though I actually am pretty sure you can enter that on a dark side playthrough, but there is one area in here that was completely cut. There is no way to access it no matter what you do. Yeah, I remember. It's that door there. This door right here is inaccessible. No matter what you can do, you can never end. I no way. No, you can enter the control room. The control room is never mind, I'm, I, it is those doors. There's just one door in here that you can't enter, that's what I'm trying to say. There's a little pub here. Okay. Enter. Open that. No. Blocked. If you're playing a dark side playthrough, there are areas that you can enter that you cannot enter in a light side one. Which I like. We always meet Zerja and Gadon. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadon? Calm down, Zerja. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadon. Brezhik and his Volkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Volkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Volker spy. I don't worry. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problem is that the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? I, uh, I need information on the Republic escape pods that crashed in the Undercity. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. <laughs> if the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. 
Don't worry. I'm not working for the Sith. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours oh, after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. Clack. We Becks don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Well, we found Bastila. Bastila's a slave? What happened to her? Normally, the Vulcas would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan yeah, base on her own. Yeah, that is good. She's too valuable to act. leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Rezik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. There has to be some way I can help her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Rezik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual <laughs> Swoop Gang race. Well, Hoping actually... such a valuable prize, Brezik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Hmm. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila, then? I have an idea. Fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. Got on. Can you help me with this? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us, we both have something to gain here, and much to lose. What are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Becks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcans stole ah. a prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Alright. I'm not supposed to break into there and get inside the whole base. Getting into the Vulca base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Vale. Hey, we, we she met her in God, the, uh... can't be serious. She's just the, a uh, kid. Bar. How is she supposed to help them with this? No, Missions explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Where can I find Mission? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring ah. in the undercity, <laughs> despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. I got some Sim Sith uniforms to disguise myself. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past that it. That makes sense. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Hmm. What do you want with the uniforms? I like to be prepared. Uh, if you're back, by the way, the I'm a Try to drive us out of the undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Okay. I'll trade the uniforms for the papers. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. And now we can now we don't need else to wear it ever again. again. Alright. I wanna ask you some more questions. Your time would probably be better spent going after the prototype swoop engine the Vulcan stole from us. But I'll answer your questions if I can. Hmm. So do you have any problems with the Sith? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the lower mm -hmm. city. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. Like I tried to explain this to Brezik, but, but he well. and his Vulcans won't listen. Why are they, why are they the outgoing? The swoop bike accident. 
Everyone assumed I would step down as leader of the Hidden Bex and let Brezhik, my most trusted follower, take over. But with my ocular implants, I can still see well enough to lead this gang. And I knew Brezhik wasn't ready to take over yet. Unfortunately, Brezhik didn't agree with me. In a rage, he left to join our arch rivals, the Black Vulcans. A lot of the younger gang members followed him, and soon he and his followers had taken control of the Vulcan gang. Why start a gang war with the Bex? Brezhik is a proud man. My decision was a public humiliation for him. Maybe if I had stepped down, this gang war would have been avoided. Don't fool yourself, Gadden. Brezhik wants to control the lower city gangs. If you'd stepped down, he'd have led the Bex against the Vulkers. He wanted this war, one way or another. <sighs> I know your rights, Erdra. Brezhik won't rest until I am dead and the Bex are no more. But it's hard to accept the truth of his betrayal. Alright, I'll be going now. Feel free to come back anytime. We're not like those Vulcan savages. Strangers are welcome in the Beck base. Ta -da! You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. Alright, now in our inventory we should have a new item. The Sith Papers. These official looking papers identify the bearer as being an essential spy more by by order of the Sith government on ter of Terrace. They also warn of gruesome penalties for anyone foolish enough to challenge the bearer. <laughs> that works. That works well. For all of us. Flip, flip, flip. Flip, flip, flip. Alright. Hmm, I wonder if I have enough medkits. I mean, they do have a shop in the other city, but... Which we could buy medkits and antidotes. A lot of medkits and antidotes. Trust me, you'll need them. Alright, why are you going on the light side? Alright. Let's talk. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. I got my security papers right here. Let me see. Crawling with mutants. Rack ghouls, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Noted. Now, one thing about rack ghouls. According to lore, the rack ghouls are not a natural phenomenon created on Terrace. They are, in fact, created by a Sith Lord of the Ancient Paths who, use a, who made a certain amulet which creates and uh, which creates rack ghouls on command, basically under control of the of one who wields the amulet. Uh, the amulet also contains the spirit of that said Sith Lord and wasn't destroyed until past until the descendant of Luke Skywalker, I think. Egg, 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 all three generations of Sky all the generations of Skywalker had to deal with rat ghouls at some point. Vader, Luke, and his son. In le in Legends. The better canon. Anyways, welcome to the other city. You there! Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. That's all? Five credits! Who are you? What are you doing here in the Undercity? We are the outcasts. Banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. You poor wretches. Here's 20 credits to buy some food and clothing. <laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. 
It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. Her name's Evan Rath. Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? It's not... It's nothing special. What, well, the surface is a beautiful place? Or... Hmm. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Yeah. Rukil? Who's that? Rukil's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. Thomas Land, what's that? It's it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. We're gonna find Rukil. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. Wow. The children laugh at him and city? people think With he's no crazy care? because of his stories about yeah, the promised nice. land, but he's really just a kind old man. Uh, where about Gendar? He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. Uh, do you know anything the escape pods that crashed through the Undercity? I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? Have any off-worlders came through here recently? There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Hmm. Tell me about the village. Well, I was born here for starters. My parents were outcasts, banished to the Undercity for some crime or other. They never really like to talk about it. Everyone here is an outcast. Or the descendants of one. It's tough down here, but we survive. I guess it's easier for me since I've never known anything different. Some of the people have given up all hope. They've become bitter and depressed, but most of us are good people. Despite what our ancestors may have done. Gendar could probably tell you more. Or maybe Rukil. You could talk to them if you want. Hey, I'll be going now. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. And yeah, we got the minus 20 credits, but hey, we got ourselves some friends. Or, uh, we got some light side, light side points, making us even better in the light side. More than I think of, of uh... Oh, we're about equal with Karth. Nice. Be a good person. Just be a good person and everything turns out alright in this game. Alright. There's Gendar, by the way. There's Rukil. But over there in the middle, where where I saw where you, uh, where you see eye gear, talk to him. Oh, never mind. Hey, yeah. You ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes. You've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something yeah. slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Aigir. I run a little salvage shop here. Aigir. Well, buy something from my store? I got some good deals. All right. How do you run a store here in the Undercity? If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters, and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. Hmm. Missy your inventory. Yeah, it ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the price is right. We can buy some antidotes kits, which are very important down here. Medical kits and an infant supply, repair kits, computer spikes, and shiny battle armor, more of it. 
Viral Blades, Stun Batons, Long Swords, Quarter Staffs, Viral Sword, Ar the Arcan Arcanian Heavy Pistol, which that's new, and an upgrade for Karth if you want. Arcanian designs of this kind of predate the mass acceptance of heavier pistols, but 2,000 years later, they're still superior performers. There's some frag grenades. The our first implant, which is immune to critical hits. Uh, awareness uh, plus one. This ocular implant greatly increases the visual acu acuity, allowing the user to better track enemy movement in a combat. General awareness will improve as well. Yep. Pretty darn good. You can also sell uh, some of this combat suit. And made this bonden. Or oh, well, some of the Volcar stun stick, the, the long sword. Or one of these blaster pistols. Keep the ion blaster. I don't really use adrenals, honestly, that much. Oops, I sold the he's a grenade. But anyways. Let's go buy Karth a better pistol. We'll find more credits. And then we'll buy a like an antidote pack and a medkit. Alright, Karth. Uh -huh. Here's a new pistol. Replace your other one. So it'll really boost your damage. Alright, there we are. There's I here. Well, let's talk to the outcast leaders, because uh by the way, just let you know I have about 30 minutes left in the video that I have that I can record before I can. Maybe let's talk to Gendar first. Greetings up. He's the leader. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Uh, yes, the Upworlders came here recently? Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. I'm looking for a Twi'lek named Mission Veo. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. How can I get to the there sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the Rakuls and the other foul creatures. Answer some questions. Tell me about the Rakuls that live the down Rakuls here. The Rakuls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. Can we ask some questions? Ask who are you people? Why do you live in the Undercity? We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village. As my father was, and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations, our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants, but somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. Hmm. What a horrible way to live. Life down here can be difficult. It can break the spirit. Many in the village have become bitter and hopeless, especially those newly cast down. But life goes on, and we must try to make the best of what we have. And maybe someday we will find a better life. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Rukil. Kill. Kill? The oldest man in the village. He's a kind soul, but I'm afraid he's growing weary of this world. He dreams of escaping, of finding a better world. If you wish to speak to him, you can probably find him wandering about the village. As I said, a kind man, though he does cling to his illusions. Hmm. Alright, I'll be going now. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village, and I will do my best to help you however I can. Alright, thank you, Gendar. Anyway, here's Rukel. You! You come from the world above! Is this the time of destiny, then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. 
Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation. Speak up, Worlder. I beg you. Hmm. What are you talking about, old man? A question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. I'm Evan Raff. What do you want from me? Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. Hmm. The true path? What does that mean? No. No, no, not yet. I must be wary. Careful. You may be a false savior. Dare I share my secrets with you? No. Not until you prove yourself. All right. How can I do that? My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder. Will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. I'll help you with this, Rukil. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. I'll be back to find anything else. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. And, journal entry, we got a new side quest. This one being Rukil's Apprentice. You now need to look for, which basically, somewhere in the underground sewers, there'll be Rukil's Apprentice, which is, yeah, named Myla. So, we just got basically look for that. Anyways, the Outcast Healer. Here's another side quest we can get, but we cannot complete it. Oops, Wait, Upwelder, you can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. Dangerous suffering? What are you talking about? The villagers infected with the Rukgore disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into Rukgores, we'll let them destroy each other. There must be something I can do. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract the Rakgul disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into Rakgulls and attack them at any moment. <sighs> Goodbye. Farewell. So, under the side quest, infected outcasts. Several of the outcasts have been infected with the Rakgul disease. They have been placed in quarantine away from the others, so that when they transform into Rakgulls, they won't ravage the rest of the village. We'll help find the rat cool cure for them. The serum. Hopefully, we can give it to them before they turn to transform. But out here is where we need to go for me. Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! And we get our first look. Open oh. the gate! Get him out. Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The Rakuls are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You That's can't rack. do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate! Not while the Rakuls are so near! Open the gate. I'll kill the Rackles. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Let's go. Parth, let's deal with this Rackle. It's only one. Okay, I missed. Adam and Poison. Ow. Alright, and we've got EXP for that quest. And I mean, heal myself and inject myself in the antidote. Thank you for 
saving Hendar. More braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? Bye. Goodbye, Up. All right. I can't turn. thank you enough or for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hendar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. Karth, meanwhile, is opening and closing the gate like uh, like cr like crazy. But yeah, now we can explore the undersea, the outside with rat pools and dead and Please, deadly plague. to help me. Nobody else is going to help me. Even the Becks won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? Oh, slow down, Mission. What's wrong? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Calm down, Mission. Take a deep breath and tell me what happened. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find. Just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd rat ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave yeah. hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver. I just know it. Do, do you know where they took him? I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds him of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. All right. Uh, wait here. I'll be back when I find Zalbar. No way. I'm the one that got Zalbar into this mess, so I'm coming with you. I'm not going to abandon him again. All right. If I help you get Zalbar, you have to help me get the Volkar base. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volkar base. Now come on. We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse. And do you know where he's being kept? Oh, the Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volko compound. Alright, and mission is join the party! Our next party member! A scoundrel! This one being a mission. Mission is better for skills than actually as a party member. Most of the time you want to keep her the blast pistol, or a blast pistol of some kind, because otherwise she's not that good with the melee. But she does have her own Viber Blade, which is customizable. Uh, working with few resources, Mission Veo turned this basic Viber Blade into an exceptional weapon, almost as adaptable as, he as she is. She is not a good wielder of this weapon, because if you look at her decks, she is much more suited for dexterity weapons. Do not give her her sword. It's bad. I trust me. I know. Anyways, let's level her up. Let's level up her... Uh, let's get her decks up and skills. Now, because she's a smuggler, she has a lot more skills compared to us. Five. So let's uh let's upgrade her skills. She gets upgrades in demolitions, stealth, awareness, and security and treat and treat injury. But let's uh, let's upgrade that, <laughs> that, that, and we have two points. Put <laughs> something else which I'll put into uh computer use. And then accept, and then we, and then she can't level plan, but she will level soon. So we'll wait on that. But yeah, mission will accompany us for a while, basically for the, basically being a main party member, and one of the ones I use the least. Sorry, mission, I just don't really find much use for you later uh, compared to other party members. Uh, Candrus, you're down here too. What are you doing down here? Don't, don't move. I'm, I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Hmm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. Why is some danger down this here? This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. 
Over there in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. And we're under attack. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. All right, throw a grenade. Grenades work pretty well against rat ghouls, right? right? So we attack and throw. Good thing Candorus can help take it out. Yeah, these mercenaries got a lot of it done, and these guys get a lot of HP. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys, we're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. What do you mean by that? Davik sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davik won't like that. So we're just gonna run up. Uh, what can you tell me about Davik? What are you, an off-worlder? Everyone knows yes. Davik. He's a member of the Exchange. You know, the Interstellar Crime Syndicate. Smuggling, gambling, extortion. Davik controls it all here on Taurus. That's why I'm working for him. But lately, the lower city gangs have been giving my boss some Probably trouble. you work in extortion. I'll get going Come on, now. boys, let's move out. Oh, all right. Candorus will move along with the rest of the mercenaries. And there's more, there's more guys over here. A little focus fire on them. Discharge. Get rid of that one. These ones are actually big out. I missed all the flurry! Right. I use an advanced bed kit. Sorry! Ink card. I'm out. And I'll use an air kit myself. These guys really don't drop remains, so don't worry about that too much. Charge! Hey, go to one hit. I hit him. And mission level up. If you hit something, you'll you level up a lot, as you saw. <laughs> skills! We can get more skills again, as as like last time. Demolitions, awareness, security, treat injury. And that's it. And defeat. So she has she also she has access to stealth abilities, by the way. She means she stealth. Now with stealth sneak attack three, she'll basically uh, add three to 18 points of extra damage when the farm can't respond to the attacker. Yeah, pretty good. And she also has improved scoundrel's luck, but you still have a plus two defense. And you can upgrade it too. Attack plus four, and plus six, respectively. And it's permanent with character. Alright, I want to get her improved dueling, because she is mostly good at wielding and attacking with one-handed weapons. Uh, one bonus for it's caution. And also give her actual armor. Give her the bond and heavy alloy. Also, give her a. Uh, okay, she has a stealth field generator. She can, she can have implants, but I can equip other things. I think. Oh wait, we're gonna do adrenaline and fire. All right, there we are. And now visions are in pure red, which is kind of weird looking. Okay, creator spikes and outcast corpse, just torn by my rack rules. And those kits and the and this is the corpse of the one person we're looking for. The Promised Land's Princess Journal. This journal details the search of the Promised Land carried by a root killed apprentice. Most of the entries are mundane, however, the last entry is quite interesting. I have uncovered evidence that others have been seeking in the in the fabled land, and that their treks have led them into the sewers. I decided that I must go there as well. Root apprentice. Yeah. This is a corpse over here. Oh, mine. We want mission to mainly interact with those vines. Also, a skeletal corpse. Patch. Huh? Mission will interact with most. Okay, she's stuck on someone. We want her to recover the mine. All right. Mean that she will now recover it, and it's now sure. our mine. You may now place it whenever you want. Though I'm gonna sell most mines because mines are really expensive. Seriously, if you want a good, if you want good money. Sell mines. They give a lot of, of money. Okay, we already looted that rubble, I think, so. What are you doing? Because they don't have the empty uh, suffix that was added in the sequel. Thank you, sequel. 
Alright. Seriously, the sequel to this game is great. Okay, mission. What? Uh, remember? And it's a crash escape pod. Alright, and then we'll activate this one and the covers as well as well. But yeah. Maybe this maybe we can look something around the escape pods or something. Yes? And there's a Republic soldier still alive! You okay, soldier? Help me. Please. I I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing like some kind of hideous disease. Wait. Right there, I see oh, no. the same thing. No! I can feel it! And he's transformed into a rack cool. In front of our very eyes. In the in the actual comics, it's a lot more brutal because they bleed from every orifice of their body and then f finally perish. Again? I'm gonna burn through all these antidote kits at uh, hyperspeed. I love frag mine over there. What? Mission? Cover it. Alright, mission recovers the mine, and we could swap to that character, so that's so yes. recovering, but anyways. Alright. Vitality. Alright, power spells level up next. So, yeah. So, over here are some Sith patrols. Hmm, a Sith patrol by himself. Civilian! This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? Look, I've got all the, the proper security papers. Security papers? Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls oh, got cool them. Guy. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. Hmm. You said you lost one patrol already? Down here, search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders. Uh, are I think I see something in the background the there. Even if it means leaving another patrol to die. Just fuck. Alright, I should be going now. Yeah, sure. Commander won't be too happy if you come back empty-handed, right? Well, the same thing goes for us. Now, I could on, tell them. Let's get right. back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant-infested hole. Move out. Right. Like I said, we could actually. Uh -huh. Card. I need a combat suit equipped. Put the Rebel Republic mod gear. It's better than we have. There, and it fits because you're a Republic so soldier. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, chop chop. Alright. Now I got smacked. It's not a grenade. Alright. Didn't stun, but did let us be a chop up its head. And the car's gonna level up very soon. Okay, there we are. The corpse here in front of the sewer entrance. Which had some computer spikes, which is extra computer spikes. It's always good handy because we can use that to get more security stuff. Uh, well, more computers are sliced. Charge! And there's the Sith Patrol that died. Time to rumble. Thank you. Ow! Jack. Nice job, Karth. Uh, stop looting! Anyways, you got the Raccoon Serum and a Beam Splitter. Uh, this... Midpack and credits. So, our inventory. We have some new things. Uh, one, we got our, we got a heavy combat suit, which is a... This version of the combat suit is for more protection than the basic model. It's heavier overall and not quite as flexible. Many sort of the the op type of that. Rackle serum, a vial of greenish bubbling liquid. We'll use that later to get some things. But it was a beam slitter. This upgrading brought out the beam of a certain blaster type to increase the damage and possibly granting other effects. The modification requires a workbench with the adequate tools and a weapon of this high quality marked as upgradable. Down to the blaster rifle too. So the police put it in handy. All right, computer spikes. All right. 
and that's the fallen group of Sith soldiers. But we can now cure that group of uh, people that need the Rackle Serum. Problem is, I'm worried about actually using it because that, uh, you know, people on the surface. Hey, Karth. You're a pilot for the Republic, right? You've been all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Terrace would rate pretty low. The prejudice, the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them, and it's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm. Maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Big C's my friend, not my babysitter. Jeez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. Settle down, both of you. I don't have to listen to you, Karth. You ain't my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Look, let's just drop it and get back to what we were doing. That is one of the many interactions between party members. They're very... Hey there, what can I do for you? Yeah, the many interaction party members, a lot, most see most of the party. I don't know about, a little bit more about you, Mission. Really? You I want to know about vision. me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? Uh, how does you and Zalpar, uh, go? Big C's my family, you know? My parents, well, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. Who would want to pick a fight with a Wookiee? Hey, nobody said the Volkers were smart, I mean, it's but there were true. three of them. Like so maybe off. they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway, I don't yeah, like the Volkers at the best that, of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, leave him alone, you core slimes, and charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. They lucky you didn't fire the blaster. Hey, I don't need a lecture from you. You ain't my mother. I knew what I was doing. Those vultures Did didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. What did the other Volkars do? The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was going to rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. I keep telling Zalbar to brush those choppers of his, but he never listens. Just stay up wind when he's speaking and you'll be fine. Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? How did Zalbar get up a terrace? He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashyyyk. Hmm. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. Doesn't much yeah, matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not what he was. Me and Zalbar like to live in the present. How'd you survive before you met Zalbar? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You think I can't take care of myself? I've got street no. smarts. I know how to get by on my own. In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, right. you know? Big Z's a little bit too episode. gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower city. We should give a task Yeah, card. I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother, fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. I didn't know you had a brother. My brother's a touchy subject, you know? It just so happens, I don't really feel like talking about him right now. Nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? All right, so next time on Let's Play KOTOR, we're going to explore the Undercity more and hopefully, uh, well, find Zalvar. Also, we'll give the Rackpool Serum to people who need it. So, see you guys then. Have a great day. Bye-bye.